How's it going guys? Unreal Hero here with another comment response video. Uh, this comment's coming from Christopher Harry. Uh, Christopher wants to know, can you make a tutorial on how to make a lightning strike effect on Synapse 3? It would be much appreciated. Christopher, I'm very confident that I can get you something very similar to a lightning strike effect on your keyboard. Um, We'll get right into this video and I'll show you guys how to do it. But before I do that, hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, Christopher, so I'm currently in the Razer Synapse and in the Chroma Configurator and right now I have a blank slate. Uh, just a static green lighting on my keyboard. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, keep the static, but I'm going to change the color to some kind of dark blue to represent like a evening sky. Uh, just so you know, what I'm trying to duplicate here is something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, this lightning strike effect right here where you have basically um, d uh, dark night behind it and just like a bright beam of light down the middle of your keyboard. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna try and duplicate and we'll get started. So uh, static effect on all your keys here and I'm going to choose a blue, a dark blue and I'm even going to drag the uh, brightness down on the keys a, a bit to make them really dark. Uh, somewhere right around here. That looks good. So I'm going to save that. Now what I'm going to get going is the main bolt of lightning. The, the main strike down the middle. And you can do this with wave. So I have wave selected and I'm going to hold control and select the specific keys that I want to light up. Uh, with that main bolt of lightning. Um, it is a big bolt in that picture, so I'm going to choose like a, a two key width for a little bit and, and kind of let it taper down from there, something like that. So you got like, that's going to be my lightning bolt right there. So I'm going to let go of control. Those are going to be my selected keys. I'm going to go up here, hit color. Uh, I'm going to do a three, three color wave down the center. Uh, my first color of this is going to be, oh, let's just back up here and go to static and choose a key. Uh, let's choose all, oh, hold on, wrong wave. Go to static, select all of our keys, and I want to steal this code right here for the blue light. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that code and go into uh, our wave. Select our keys again and go up to our color. Now this first color on your color bar, so you have three tones here for your, your shades. This first shade, I'm gonna double click on that. I'm gonna click in the code box and I'm gonna paste that blue code that we copied over. Okay, so that's my first color. Uh, the middle color is going to be a really bright, uh, really, really light colored blue, okay? Really light color. So uh, we can even start with this and just add uh, 150 in green, add 150 in red, hit enter. Now we have like some sort of really bright blue there. Uh, I'm going to go back into that. And my third one is just going to be bright white because you want it to be as bright as possible. Um, so I'm going to choose this to be a really bright white, slide this up all the way so it's bright and I'm actually even going to slide my other color over just a bit. I'm going to add in one cause, just because I want the white to be as pronounced as possible. So we got a huge bright white bar on this right side here. So when your lightning strike effect goes in it's going to be a, just like a blindness of white up there. So. Uh, that's going to do it for the color. Um, speed, I like 15. 15 is good. 
uh, 15 is what you're seeing for the for the uh, lightning strike speed there. I think that's a good speed. Um, I am going to put in a pause, like a five second pause, because um, you know lightning's not just going boom, boom, boom. You know, it, we're giving it a, a few seconds there between the strikes. Uh, I'm going to change the angle down to 190. So just put 180, I'm sorry. Yeah, 180, so it's straight down. <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna split this too, because I don't like I don't like the strike to fade all the way to the bottom. I want it to like start from the middle and go to the ends. It looks more realistic that way. So I'm gonna split it. Uh, everything else is gonna stay random and I'm gonna hit save. <clears throat> So when we get our lightning strike on our keyboard, you can see that in the camera here. Uh, it's just like a bright splash of light. I'm gonna actually even uh, put more white in here. I want it to be as white as possible with just a little splash of blue and I'm gonna hit save. So now we have our lightning strike in the middle of your keyboard. And I'm going to add, <clears throat> I'm going to go one step further with this because um, in Thunder and Lightning Storms, there is flashes in the clouds. So I'm actually going to add in a starlight effect. And I'm going to select all the top keys here. Starlight, my color is going to be a uh, two-tone color. Actually, no, I'm going to go with a single single tone color and it's going to be just a, a bright blue. You don't want it to be as bright as the bolt because you want that to stand out. So I'm just going to have a, a light colored blue there. And we're going to have it go fast. Good. So now up in the top of my keyboard you can see there's some uh, you know some busyness going on up here kind of like thunder and lightning in the clouds and then you got your lightning strike in the middle of your keyboard. Um, like in that photo, uh, there's other really small lightning um, tails, I guess, if you will. So I'm going to do something to kind of create uh, a similar effect. I'm going to take my main wave and I'm going to right click and duplicate that layer. So up here we have a new wave with the same, um, it's going to be very similar as the main one but not as pronounced because you don't want it to take away the effect of the the main bolt uh, I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna select my keys that are gonna tail off of this so they're gonna be a little bit smaller um, I'm just gonna kinda uh, make some little ones over here something like that uh, something like that so uh, these keys will do a little flash not as bright just to kind of complement the main bolt I'm gonna go into the color to use three tones like before I'm going to paste in that blue code and there we go I'm going to ch change my second shade to a really light blue and oh, I should have chose four, but I'm going to make this white as well. And this shade will be white. Okay, so now we got our colors. I'm going to angle them all down just like before, 180 degrees. Split it, add in a pause every five seconds, and we're good. So I'm going to hit save. <clears throat> So now we should have, you know, have some busyness up here for your thunder and lightning. Um, you got your main bolt and then you got little baby bolts on the side. So you can see that looks really good. Uh, one thing I'm going to do because the little ones are taking a little bit of the thunder away from the, uh, no pun intended, of the main bolt. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change these to be a little bit darker. So. I'm actually going to copy this bright blue 
and I'm gonna paste this as my colors in here. So we got that. I'm gonna go in here and change that again. So now it's not a bright, the little strikes aren't as bright as the big one, but they're still going to be visible and significant. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. So now when the keys light up, the main bolt should be brighter and it is a little bit, so. All right, Christopher, so that's gonna be it for this keyboard design. Uh, this is what it's gonna look like close up. Hopefully you like it. Uh, if there's something you think I could do to improve this design, please let me know. I will update it. Um, it does represent something of a lightning strike. So uh, hopefully this fits your needs, man. Um, thank you for the comment. Uh, anybody else who's watching, if you got ideas for uh, future videos, I am, I've got open ears, more than willing to attempt a video and attempt any design that you guys might come up with. Uh, keep leaving comments, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.